With this video, I'm going to show you how to clip videos to the stories on our website from the various newscasts. So from the Frankly screen, you click on Video, you click on Assets. This will give you uh, a list of the uh, various news shows that we've recorded. So you want to pick something from the 11 o'clock news, let's say the last night's 11 o'clock news. You left click on go to create a new video clip. That'll give you the recording of the previous show. You write a headline on here. Usually I cut and paste whatever is on the script, but I'll make one up here next. You choose a classification, which is almost always news. And then you have to actually edit the clip from the show. You slide down here. These are all left clicked so far. I'm looking for Danielle Cotterman because I know she did the story I'm interested in. There she was. And I usually go to the frame before the anchor intro because we want to include that. And then we right click on that frame. And then we click on mark in. We find the end of Danielle's story. And again, I click on the frame after her stand up close, right click, and I click on mark out. Now we want to fine tune that editing, so we want to preview. Uh, what we've clipped, click on, this is left click on a preview start. Just over 24 hours ago, Tim Ryan told us that he was pulling out of the presidential race, saying that it comes down to money and he didn't have enough to okay, keep workers on the ground. Here. On social it's media, many are shift. questioning what happens to any leftover oh, yeah. campaign funds. Here's preview the end. Told candidate had he run for Ohio governor last year. With more local news, I'm Danielle Cotterman. General Motors. Okay, Derek had a few words in there, so we want to clip that off. So we click, we're going to click preview end again. And then when we get to where we want it to end, we're going to go to mark out and click set. So here's how we do that. Candidate had he run for Ohio governor last year. With more local news, I'm Danielle Cotterman. Okay, we saw a little bit of Derek at the end there, but. Going as a presidential candidate had he run for Ohio governor last year. With more local news, I'm Danielle Cotterman. So, so we have that. Now, one more thing before we leave this part of the screen is we need to get a graphic. We need a graphic that'll show up with the video still. And I'm going to right click on the Tim Ryan picture, which I've chosen. And I want to set graphic, <clears throat> save. And there's where it'll appear. That's the graphic you'll see on that when you go to that video. <clears throat> now we scroll down now more. And we have to write, <clears throat> excuse me, an abstract of the story. Usually, again, I cut and paste the first sentence from the text version. In this case, I'm just making something up. And then we have to put a timestamp on it. Very important. Click those first two boxes, and we need to put the right reporter on it because it, it'll default to the person who's working on the story, which is me, and we know it was Danielle. And the date line, whatever is on, usually on the text story again. Let me scroll down more. 
and we need to assign the rule where it's going to go. Nine times out of ten, it is news video clip. Okay, now we want to assign this to a story. We want this video we've just created to be associated with the story, the text story. So, again, this defaults to assign to story. Left click on save. And then we click on use for the category again. Then we need to find the story this is associated with. Uh, I'm thinking it would be what's next for Tim Ryan. Under the select column, click the first box. Under the summary column, click the last box. That's important because it will, uh, when people go to the text story, uh, they'll see that there is video associated with that story. Then uh, you want to go to the format column. You get a drop down box. Click on it and pick the second to the last choice, which is feature in story A. That's very important. Feature in story A. And we want to save and finish. But you're really not finished because the story, the clip rather, is still in draft. So once again, we go to video and click. And we pick video clips because this is now a video clip. You get a list of all the video clips, but you notice you don't see the one you just put on here. It should be the headline about Tim Ryan. That's because it's still in draft, so you have to click draft. There it is. It's processing still. What's next for Tim Ryan? And again, it's in draft. So what you have to do is click on draft. You get a bunch of choices here. Live, archive, delete. Of course, you pick live, and you click there. And you want to change the date timestamp, just click save. It's updating, and you notice it's still processing. So eventually, eh, sometimes five minutes, depending on what's going on, how long the clip is, it'll eventually show up on our website. But try to be a little patient. And uh, that's really it.